Hi, I'm Martin Bowman and I'm the Joint Programme Leader for the Digital Animation Programme at the University of Hertfordshire. If you've been thinking of applying to our 2D animation degree, then you're going to need a strong portfolio of work to maximise your chance of getting a place on the course. The ideal applicant will show a range of traditional and digital art skills, and much of the artwork we're looking for is likely to be different to the work you're creating for the course you're currently on, so please expect to create quite a lot of work outside of your normal studies. The artwork we do want to see is going to be relevant for applying to any animation course in the UK, so don't feel you've got to create specialist work just for us. We like to see a mixture of hand-drawn traditional artwork and digital art. If your artwork was created on paper or using other digital media such as uh, oil paint, pencil, watercolour, then please bring it to the interview in paper form. If your work was created digitally, then please bring along uh, digital copies uh, on, uh, on a drive for us to see, uh, but also provide some paper-based printouts just in case the digital media you bring along has issues on the day. So, what do we want to see? The first thing we really want to see is your life drawing. This is you know, one of the most important bits of art that we need to see from an applicant. Uh, we want to see um, strong poses, um, a good understanding of volume and form, foreshortening, um, shading as well as line work so we can see how rounded you can get a form to appear, um, dynamic movement as well, that sort of drawing. That's all excellent work, the kind of stuff we really, really need to see. Oh, we really like strong animal drawings as well as human drawings. Please draw from life. If you, when you draw from photos, you're drawing from a flattened 2D form and then translating that into another flattened 2D form and your work will probably lose all feeling of volume and roundness. So please do try and draw from reality and you'll get much better results. Alongside life drawing, anatomy drawings are really interesting to us. So drawings of skeletons, either animal or human, are very interesting. Sculptures. If you make any clay sculptures of your characters or of realistic human forms or animals, again, we'd love to see those to see how you interpret your drawings into a rounded form. When taking photographs of your uh, sculptures, please take the one image that shows the whole form and then a variety of images that show, show close-ups of sections you're particularly proud of. For the interview, don't bring the original model with you because they always get broken. So just bring photographs, that'll be fine. We really enjoy character designs, okay? Please bring those with, us, with you. Um, we love to see character designs, especially if you can draw them both in terms of a full the full body, but in terms of a front, side, back and three-quarter pose. We are always really impressed if you can show a variety of interesting poses for your character that fit the actual personality and nature of that person uh, or creature. We like to see them in colour, we like to see them drawn to scale, we like, we're really impressed if you can do different facial expressions uh, and mouth shapes if that's correct for your character for phonemes, um, all that sort of work. Character animation, of course we want to see character animation. Um, you don't have to create full epic animations with a gigantic narrative, we're looking just to see how good and how strong your motion is. So, each of these can just be walk cycles and run cycles, jumps, uh, characters interacting with props, but short little scenes with a character interacting with another character. We don't need to see epic films. We'd rather see 20 seconds of really good quality animation than two minutes of uh, average animation that you feel like you need to produce a long period of animation just to impress us. We're not, we'd rather see short work. Don't worry about making a long animation. The animations can be done in line form, they don't have to be fully coloured or inked, um, we don't mind. We're just looking for how well you portray motion and whether you can tell a story in movement. You can create them in any 2D animation package that you fancy uh, and you can also do them on paper as well. We recommend software such as Adobe Animate or uh, TV Paint or even in Photoshop. Not every artist is a strong character artist. So we also like to see your environment drawings, your background paintings, uh, images of buildings, architecture, anything that shows your understanding of perspective. Um, and when you're designing environments, please draw uh, front, side, and top-down views of them as well. Um, and do paint scenes in color as well. We don't just want to see line work, we want to see how you handle color in your work. When you design structures, use reference, even if you're stylizing them a lot, make sure they look like they could be believable and they, they could exist. Comics, graphic novels, and storyboards. We love these. Please bring them along, especially if you've written your own narratives. We're, we're really interested in seeing how you respond to the written word and how you interpret that visually. Obviously, you can respond to other people's written words. That's fine, and, and we're interested to see how you do, work with that. But um, having a mind that thinks about story as well as artwork is very interesting to us. 
If you're doing storyboard work, then please number the shots. Please make sure that the actual storyboard frames are drawn in the correct aspect ratio. So don't draw square storyboards when your actual animation is supposed to be shown on a 16 by nine television screen. Add in shot duration, camera movement information, scene direction, and sound effects information underneath each image. Motion graphics. If you've created any um, motion graphics work for say title sequences, credit sequences, idents, that sort of thing, please show it to us. We're always interested in seeing this. Paintings, images that you create either digitally or uh, traditionally of any kind of subject matter. We look to see your understanding of color and composition. 3D models, there's no requirement for any applicant to the 2D animation degree to have knowledge of a 3D animation package. Although if you enjoy working with such things, please put the work in the portfolio. Sketchbooks, we love to see sketchbooks that are full of drawings. Please bring those along if you've got them. We'd love to see how you develop your ideas from first starting point to the finished thing. But if your sketchbooks are mainly written works or have the artwork of other artists in them, don't worry, don't bother showing those to us, thanks. We're not interested in fan art or copies of other people's artwork. We'd much rather see your own original thinking. Although, if you have taken a pre-existing character and radically redesigned it in an interesting way, then that is interesting. We will, that, that is interesting to us and useful to us. We will happily look at that. Um, but primarily, we want to see your original thinking, your original designs. Now, the examples you've just seen are for all from successful applicants to the 2D animation course at Hertfordshire. We don't expect every applicant to have every single item that we've just shown in, our, in your portfolio. Um, but what we do expect you is to have a good selection of life drawing, character design, and digital painting in your work. That's really essential. If you're coming from a very traditional art background, then we really do need to see that you've got good life drawing, that's fine, and designs and paintings, but please show us that you have used some software to create some animated work or digital paintings. When assembling your portfolio, we would much rather see 10 to 15 pages of really high quality work than 50 to 100 pages of weak work. Don't show us poor quality artwork or the artwork you created years ago. We're not interested in seeing how you've progressed from where you were five years ago to how you are now. We merely wanna see how good you are now and also how much promise you've got for the future. And we look forward to seeing your application.